Good day, poker peeps. This is Sky with Smart Poker Study. And in this video, I'm going to share with you my three favorite hand reading filters. Now, if you don't know what hand reading is, I'm not going to teach you what it is in this video. But if you want to learn more, click that link directly up above to take you directly to my ultimate hand reading post at smartpokerstudy.com. But these are my three favorite filters right here. Now, whether you're doing hand reading or just want to review uh, some hands to find your leaks and to potentially fix your mistakes, these are going to be super useful ones right here. The first is the 2-bet and then call 3-bet and went to showdown filter. Now, the reason I love this is because so many of my students and myself for a very long time, I would make terrible 3-bet calls. I would lose a ton of money when calling 3-bets, right? So let's run this filter right now. You're going to go to More Filters, and this is within Poker Tracker 4, of course. More Filters, Actions, Opportunities, Preflop. Now, the first action that you make is the preflop 2-bet, whether that is a uh, uh, raise first in or an ISO raise over limpers. You're making that 2-bet. Add it to filter. Now, of course, you're calling the 3-bet preflop calls call the three bet now the great thing about this is that when you run just this filter without showdown you're going to see all the different hands where you open raced and then call the three bet and you can look at the various hand strengths the actions through the streets the boards how much money you want won or lost when you called the three bet but let's add one more filter to this on the river saw showdown and you can see I already have it saved as my 2-bet, call 3-bet, and saw showdown filter. And just this past month, oh, one time, call the 3-bet, pocket fives. Now, the great thing about running this filter is, right down here, you can, first off, you think about your opponent's range. It, with these hands, you're going to be 100% concerned with their preflop 3-betting range. So we open raise, Q makes the 3-bet, fold, fold, oh, one call, and of course, I call the set mine right here. Oh, don't hit anything at all on the flop. So before we get to this point, when you're hand reading, of course, you're going to uh, assign a range to your opponent, maybe using a program like Flopzilla. So I would give this opponent right here a three betting range, probably a pretty narrow three betting range, given the fact that he's very passive and doesn't do any three bets so far. Right. But then check, check. Oh, holy cow. I hit trips. Start betting for value right there and get some good value throughout the hand. Oh, interesting. Not a super narrow range. Maybe just deciding to get a little frisky right there. So that's the first filter. The great thing about this is as you go through those hands, you can look at your poor three bet calls that you made. And then oftentimes when you call three bets pre-flop, you're going to be making some more bad calls post-flop because you already committed nine or ten big blinds. And you just don't want to give up your hand too easily on the flop, right? So uh, for filter number one, filter number two, and this is a mistake that I still make currently, but a lot of my students make as well, is calling the turn C bet when you shouldn't be calling, right? Making mistaken calls, losing a lot of monies for it. So clear the filter. So more filters, actions and opportunities. We're talking about the turn, turn calls, you called a C bet. Now, what this means is if you called the C bet on the turn, that means you had to have called the C bet on the flop because in order for them to make a turn C bet, they have to make that first flop C bet. And in order for them to make the C bet on the flop and for you to call, that means you were the pre-flop caller. So we're going to see hands with this filter where we called a two bet, called a three bet, or called even a four bet pre-flop and then called two streets of action. Now, the other part of this is, of course, once again, went to showdown actions opportunities on the river and simply saw showdown now let me show you how to save these as quick filters you're just going to click save as quick filter and i called this one it's already in here call turn c bet and showdown already saved it i won't save it again call turn c bet and showdown oh only one time lost four dollars and 22 cents 42 big blinds but look at this this is interesting it was in the big blind. I defended in the big blind by calling with king 10 offsuit. And then I check called three streets uh, with second pair the whole way. Probably a lot of mistake in pre-flop and post-flop decisions in this hand. That's one of the reasons why I really like this filter a lot. Now the last one, river call and lost. So many players, you get to the river and you just really don't want to fold. You don't want to believe that your opponent has the goods. You want to believe that they're triple barrel bluffing or bluffing on the river after you check the turn whatever the case might be. Lots of mistaken river calls. So 
what you're going to do on the river, you simply made any call right here. This is going to uh, just show instances where you called one bet, you bet somebody raised and you called, somebody bet somebody else raised and you re-raised and then they shoved all in and then you called. All those hands, any kind of river call. Now, you don't really need to uh, uh, add the and lost filter because as you can see, when you run your filter, you're going to see losing hands and winning hands. But let me show you how to add that. Hand details, win a loss, player lost hands. Simple. We called on the river and we lost the hand. You can see we got it already saved as a quick filter. But I've called three times on the river. One of those is that king 10 offsuit hand that we saw with the prior uh, filter right down here. But altogether, I've lost, if this is all 10 and L, I've lost 100 big blinds with these three poor river calls. Now, my job, of course, once I find these, is to review the hands. Maybe I made a great river call. Maybe it was a terrible river, river call. I'm not going to know unless I actually take the time to review the hands. And it's best to do full hand reading exercises where I assign my opponent, in this instance, ah, whoever my opponent ends up being on the river. Let's just see who it is real quick. Ah, oh, this Huey, super loose passive player, making a tiny little too big blind bet. I would want to try to assign him a pre-flop range for being the small blind caller after this cutoff player calls. So that would be the range that I'm concerned with, and then start narrowing it through the streets for my hand reading exercise. All right, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and please run these three filters for yourself and lose or and learn from some of your losing hands in these common losing situations. All right, I'll catch you in the next one.